guys welcome back to my channel and today I will be cooking another dish for you this is a favorite Jamaican dish as well and this is dumpling ground provision and salt mackerel some people say pickled mackerel so this is rundown mackerel rundown Jamaica people rundown so I don't have a coconut today a whole coconut I'll be using the grease coconut milk powder and as you can see, I have my seasoning right here. So for my herbs, I have some thyme. I have about two sprigs of thyme. I have two sprigs of escalion or green onion. I have two bell pepper or sweet pepper. And these are, this is about a medium size and a small. I have a medium size scotch bonnet pepper two tomatoes and a medium sized onion so right here this is about a pound of salt mackerel pickled mackerel and right here i have my cornmeal with my flour and my salt so i'm just going to go ahead and just mix um, all my ingredients together so incorporate the flour the salt and the cornmeal and I like dumplings but I like when the dumplings has a little bit of cornmeal can't say everybody in my house would like it that way but I like it this way and probably it's also because I can't really make dumplings so well so I find that when the cornmeal is in there I can handle the, making the dumpling a lot better than without the flour without the caramel sorry so i'm just going to go ahead now put my gloves on and i'm just going to be kneading the flour now so i like to knead flour in my gloves because i don't like to feel all the stickiness on my hand so i always use a glove for this you don't have to use the glove persons just go ahead and just you know just dip right in and start making but this is my preference because as i said i don't like to feel i don't like to feel the the stickiness on my hand it's not because i'm wearing any nails because no i'm not wearing any false nails i just can't take the stickiness as i say on my hand so right here in the cup i have about two and a half cups of water so you know you're just trying to get this together just add as much water as needed until all the flour cornmeal has come together in a should I say in a ball in a dough ball so you see I'm managing this a lot better if it was just straight flow straight flour dumpling I could do this so guys as I said just add as much water as needed to get all the flour together so I'm almost there and you know you just need and I also like the color that the cornmeal add to it you see it has this yellow golden color almost like when you're making festival i like this so this is perfect for me right now so i'm just going to put this up until when i'm ready to make my dumplings then you guys can see oh i'll make my dumpling you guys will see when i'm cutting my seasoning and also what i do next in the preparation of this meal so for my ground provision now, I have some yellow yam and some white yams as well as some Irish potatoes that I've peeled and cut. Don't watch the look of this guys, it's still good, I just cut off the bottom of this. I bought excess amount of yams, but I don't really cook yam that, that regularly. So what I did was when I bought the yams, I just peeled the entire yam. Put it in a Ziploc bag and place it in the refrigerator. Place it in the freezer so 
yeah it's still good i'm just going to go ahead and probably cut off the end of this one or throw this one away this one as you can see is the the foot of the yam so this part normally is like bitter and stuff so if i throw this part away nothing is wrong and as i said my salt mackerel over here so i'm just going to go ahead now real quick and cut my seasoning So first I will start with my green onions and I like to start up here. I'll we'll just go ahead and just cut these in small. If I was being like curry chicken or something like that, I would just crush this with like the end of the knife or so. But because I'll be putting this in the round down, I'm not going to put this in there all. So I'll we'll just give these some cuts. And that side should be fine. Let me just start with my go ahead with my tomato. I like to cut it like that. Let me just give it a slice down the middle. Slice down the middle, as I said before. So that's one tomato down, the other tomato now, and when I'm doing salt mackerel guys or salt fish, I like when there's a lot of tomato in it, so as you can see, and the reason why I'm using two tomatoes. I probably even go in with a third one. I'm not sure. This is looking this is looking plenty still. I don't think I'll need another tomato. Okay, so my scallions and my tomato. And I'm going to go in now with my bell pepper. So I just cut it down the middle. Just use my hands and take out the seed and whatever in the is in the middle. This don't have a lot of seed, so that's good. I've already washed this, by the way, guys. So, yeah, as I said before, everything that I use in my kitchen, my vegetables, my fruit, I always ensure that I wash them because, you know, when you buy these things, we don't know where it's coming from. So, we don't know the type of stuff that are on it. So, we have to wash our vegetables and our fruits. And my other bell pepper, this one has a lot of seeds, but the procedure is the same. Getting that messy, I needed a plate. Let me just take out the seeds down here. Okay guys, so all the seeds have been removed. So just continue cutting my bell pepper. So again, when I'm cooking salt mackerel or even salt fish, I like when there's a lot of tomato and I also like when there's a lot of seasoning because I like that, you know, I like that colorful, flavorful part. I don't like to see just plain like that, no seasoning and stuff. Although most of these stuff that I put in there, like especially the onions, I'm not really a fan of onion, but I'm really a fan of onion, but you know. So I'm not going to dice this, I'm just going to slice it so it's... Yeah, I like that. Some thin slices. I can't really use the knife again like a professional. I've been out of touch so long with the knife. So I'm just going to go slow. Like, you guys should see me summer 2016 with a knife. 
so with the th with the time I'm just going to leave the time like this and I'm just going to should I leave my preparatives no I'm just going to slice off a piece of my pepper and I'm just going to slice this so I'm not going to put a lot of pepper in this because what I realize is that stuff like salt mackerel, salt fish, colorloo and um, other tin stuff they tend to draw the pepper a lot and not everybody in my family can consume pepper okay so this is my seasoning so I'm just going to put this away my water is on the stove boiling with my for my dumpling and my yam and Irish potato so guys stay tuned and before you go remember to like share comment and subscribe and as usual thank you guys for subscribing to my channel I love you all continue to stick around with me great stuff are in store so guys my water is ready for my flour and my grown provisions so I'm going to go ahead first and make my dumplings remember I told you guys I'm not a professional at this dumpling making stuff like this is my least favorite thing to do which you know so this is my dumpling which cost me a lot to you know make rice which I don't mind because I love rice but I rarely cook dumpling because the main reason is I can't really make it as nice as I see other persons making it but whatever it's going in the belly right you know God envy so you know just what I normally do is just like this just roll the flour and just press down try to get it flat Add it to the water Like when I see my cousin making dumpling chevelle, she's like a dumpling professional. And she, she has tried, you know, in the past, you know, teach me how to make the dumpling, but still not my thing. Still can't do it, do it as perfect as how she does it. So dumpling isn't my thing, so I kind of stick to rice, as I said before. So guys, all my foods are in the pot right now and I'm just going to go ahead and cover this halfway because I don't want it boiling over on the stove. So guys, my salt mackerel has finished boiling. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my seasoning. Yes, that oil is hot. It's popping as well. So I'm just frying my seasoning now and I've also went ahead and I added some hot water to my coconut powder. So, I could get it liquefied so I can add it to my, add it to my salt mackerel. So guys, if you have the coconut block, feel free to go ahead and use that. Or if you have the coconut liquid, the one in the can. Or if you have an old coconut, you know what to do. Break the coconut, cut it, blend it, and squeeze the juice from it. But today I'm using the powdered sachet. So let me just turn back my stove up a bit. So my stove is on medium right now. And I'm going to go ahead and add my coconut milk really fast. I'm just going to save some of my coconut milk behind because I will also be making salt fish. I'll also be making salt fish run down because 
my baby, he don't eat salt mackerel, so whenever I cook salt mackerel, I have to cook salt fish for him. So I'll just leave this to get a little thick, then I will add my salt mackerel. I'm not going to add it just yet. So this is my salt mackerel and it's finished boiling as I said and I went ahead and you know use my finger to just separate the layers so I can get it fine or minced. Now I'm just going to add it to my coconut milk on the stove. So right now I'm turning down my stove and my stove is midway between medium and low. I'm just going to add a little bit more coconut milk to this and cover my pot and leave it to come to a boil <coughs> let me first add some black pepper to this This is not going to be as spicy I would want, as I would want it, but as I said, not everybody in my family consumes pepper properly. So I will go ahead when I'm eating my own portion of this and I'll add my scotch bunny pepper powder to it. It's no problem. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and cover this now and allow it to get to a thick gravy like. So my stove is still between medium and low and I leave this for about next two to three minutes. So guys, I think this is ready now. This is definitely ready. So guys, this is the finished product. So I took two dumplings, a piece of yam and a piece of Irish. Look at that. Delicious salt mackerel. I don't know why Omar ate salt mackerel. It's so nice. So I'm just going to eat now. I'm not going to be doing any mukbang today. But guys, try this recipe and tell me what you think about it. And remember, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And do remember to turn on your notification bell. That's the little bell beside the subscribe button. So each time I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first to watch the video. Bye, guys. What good. Mwah.